गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन नाउ द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज जनरेशन ऑफ कंप्यूटर एज इन द प्रीवियस सेशन आई हैव टोल्ड यू पीपल अबाउट सम जनरेशन ऑफ कंप्यूटर लाइक फर्स्ट जनरेशन सेकेंड जनरेशन एंड थर्ड जनरेशन ऑफ कंप्यूटर आई हैव डिस्कस्ड इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो लेक्चर नाउ इन टू डेज लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू अबाउट द फोर्थ जनरेशन एंड फिफ्थ जनरेशन ऑफ कंप्यूटर and uh, i'll tell you that uh, the number of technologies or uh, the different technology which has been used in this fourth generation and fifth generations of computer so let us start the topic that is uh, fourth generation so uh, if uh, you see the time period of this generation then it starts from 1975 and it ends Uh, approximately in this year that is 1989 so as i have told you that uh, the time period can vary so uh, the fourth generations of computer were developed during this uh, time period that is 1975 to 1989 this time period can vary only for 1 to 2 years not for 5 uh, to 6 years okay so you just learn or you just fix one time period that is this as this is mentioned in uh, several uh, no uh, several books also so you just fix this uh, uh, time period so that you uh, you don't get confused in your exams also so uh, basically in this generation of computer uh, the technology which has been used is of microprocessor so the development of microprocessor signaled the beginning of this fourth generation computer as in the previous uh, generations uh, like uh, vacuum tubes were there and after that transistors you have used so different types of technology uh, has been evolved according to different different generations so uh, i'll tell you some of the features of this generations of computer as uh, in this generation we are having the storage we are having um, some devices for storing purpose even though the speed is very fast and uh, in this generation we are having some input and output devices also so i'll tell uh, each and every point within these features as uh, these computers uh, use the lsi means large scale integrated circuit technology and vlsi technology that is very large scale integrated technology so this is basically one kind of uh, integrated circuits that is vlsi means large scale integrated circuits and vlsi that is very large scale technologies so fourth generation computers uses these two technologies then after that if uh, we talk about uh, in terms of sizes then obviously the size uh, were reduced to desktop and laptop computers so i think um, you can understand that if you compare the first generation computer with fourth generation obviously then the size uh, then there is a, a very much difference uh, between the sizes now uh, the next feature that is uh, these types of computers were highly reliable and accurate because uh, there was uh, the technology advancement in these computers then after that some more features uh, within this fourth generation computer that these computers are having a large memory and a high functional speed so uh, you can perform different number of calculation at a very high speed even though you are having large memory that is why a big calculation or a uh, number of tasks can be performed within these computers and uh, the if uh, if we talk about the operating speed then it was measured beyond picoseconds and uh, mips means millions of instructions per second then magnetic disk is the common source of external storage that uh, in these uh, in this generation basically for secondary storage uh, magnetic disk have been used okay so this is one important point that for secondary storage purpose means if you want to save an image file or uh, folder then obviously for uh, saving that file for saving that folder for saving that particular information at that time uh, the concept of magnetic disk were used so this is one of the important point in this generation 
and if i talk about the examples for this generations of computer the number of computers have been developed means uh, number of uh, pcs have been developed by ibm in this generation even though apple uh, has also been uh, apple also developed for some kind of computers in this generation then trs was there vec vax 9000 cray 1 cray 2 and cray x or oblic mp was also there so these are some of the computers these are some of the computers which you can frame in fourth generation because actually uh, they uh, these are the computers that has been developed in uh, during this uh, fourth generation so any one of uh, any uh, one of the computer you can take in fourth generation if uh, it is asked to write then only then uh, this is one of the uh, computer that was used in fourth generation then uh, fifth generation computer as uh, it starts from 1989 and even though it is being run uh, running in uh, till present also so fifth generation computers uh, are basically in developmental stage which is based on the technology that is artificial intelligence and uh, the technology from vlsi got to vlsi and the goal of the fifth generation is to develop the devices which can respond to a uh, natural languages input like uh, if you are saying something then uh, with the help of these fifth generation computer actually we want to develop uh, this kind uh, we want to develop one kind of device uh, which can understand the natural language and that are capable of learning and self organizing so uh, quantum computation and molecular even though nanotechnology will be used in this technology even though these these are technologies are being used so we can say that fifth generation computers will have the power of human intelligence because in this generation a uh, number of uh, robots are being good developed so this comes under the fifth generation of computer then uh, some of the features of fifth generation computer that is fifth generation computers use a super large scale integrated chips or you can also say that uh, these uh, uh, computers uses ultra large scale technology that is ulsi means vlsi technology got uh, converted into ulsi they are having uh, the concept of artificial intelligence they are able to recognize the images and graphs the uh, and uh, this uh, generations of computer is based on the parallel processing and uh, the artificial intelligence software then some of the more features of this generation are like fifth generation computers aims to be able to solve the highly complex problem including decision making processes logical reasoning etc and they will be able to use more than one cpu for faster processing speed so this can be done only in the fifth generations of computer if you want to use more than one cpu like uh, in super computer then it is possible in the fifth generations of computer so this is one laptop so this is basically the evolution uh, in the fifth generation then fifth generation computers are intended to work with natural languages as the main focus in fifth generation is to develop the devices uh, who can understand uh, or they can understand the natural languages input and uh, they are and uh, the devices which are self organized and self learning which can understand the self learning process so the goal is mentioned here like the goal of fifth generation computing is to develop the devices that respond to natural language input and that are capable of self learning and self organizing so this is the basic goal of fifth generation computer so these kind of computers are even um, being developed uh, in the recent time also so thank you everyone hope you have understood all these uh, computers which were developed during these generations so thank you everyone thank you so much